Hey guys, what's up? I'm Quest, aka Jordan, and it's been about two, two and a half months since my last commentary, so hey guys, what's up? Uh, anyways, uh, today you're gonna see me using the Vector Silenced and I believe Fast Mag, I don't know, something like that. I haven't uh, played COD in about two months, two and a half months, uh, so yeah, this gameplay isn't great, but... It's uh, 43 and 5, which is pretty good. Uh, we were in a full party last night, just went and started pub stomping kids. Uh, the game before, I was just playing really OBJ, or ob objective, and uh, we won pretty good. Uh, this game, I believe I unlocked the Warthog last game, so for this game, I put on the Warthog, put on the Lodestar, and... Uh, ended up dropping two of each. Uh, you'll see I only get one load star, but I do get two load stars. You'll find out what I mean in, uh, near the end, but yeah. So the gameplay is pretty good, but uh, it's not the best. I'll try to get better in the future. But anyway, that's not the point. Uh, I took a two month break from YouTube, two months break from Call of Duty. But I think I might come back now, I'm not really sure. Uh, when I quit YouTube, it kind of ruined my motivation to play Call of Duty because I liked to play COD when I knew I was aiming for something. Like when I was aiming to make videos for YouTube, it was a good reason for me to play Call of Duty. But when I stopped making videos, I kind of lost my motivation to play. So, when that happened, I just ended up quitting. But, uh, my friends have been saying that I should come back, give it a try. They missed my videos, missed my edits. So, I decided I'll try it, see what goes down. Um, I should have an edit coming out within the next few days. I'm not sure if it's going to be good, not sure if it's going to be bad, but I'm going to try to make it to see if I enjoy editing still and see if I want to come back to editing as well as commentaries and just video making in general. Oh, we'll see what happens. That's uh, for the future. So, hopefully I do. Anyways, this topic, I just want to actually do something that I find is kind of common to me. Um, I seem to have very bad teachers if you guys you guys will probably understand once I get into it but I have had teachers that are just like oh they shouldn't be teachers like all the jobs that aren't filled by teachers that I mean sorry all the jobs that teachers have right now a good portion of them are filled by teachers that shouldn't even be teaching and the teachers that shouldn't be teaching should just stop because it's a waste of time like I had a business teacher last year on uh, grade 9 business he was a good teacher he was a cool guy but he was a gym teacher not a business teacher but you're supposed to have two uh, subjects you could teach so he was a business teacher as well and he was a very very bad business teacher so for the first month of the class, it was understandable. We copied notes, we did an assignment, we did a test, a quiz, you know, all that average good stuff that is so much fun. But after that, it got really boring because we just stopped doing anything. He would be like, we'd walk into class, uh, he'd say, you have to do textbook work, page 21 to 22, question 4, 5, 7. And then he's like, you guys have till Friday to ha have it done, and it's Monday. It's like, alright, alright. So you start on it, we finish it in like 10 minutes, and we're like, oh, well, shit. Then what do you do for the rest of the class? So, it was like that every week, we just uh, spend about maybe 15, 20 minutes on the work, get it done. And then you'd have about, sometimes up to two weeks, where you just don't do anything in class. That gets very boring very quickly. Um, you kind of run out of stuff to do. Like, you can play games on the computer all class, but when most of them are blocked, it's not very fun. So you have to play these, like, really, sometimes gay games, but 
some of them are fun, but the fun games, you kind of play out of them too much, and then they get really boring as well. So we did that, and then, so this carried on for about four, probably four months of just doing, like, textbook work and stuff, and then finishing and having a week. And by the way, every Friday we watch The uh, Apprentice which with Donald Trump. It was the very first season of The Celebrity Apprentice. So it's really, we only had four day weeks. So it's pretty short. And then it was about the 20th of May. Uh, and we got a culminating activity for that class, which if you guys don't know, a culminating activity is the biggest activity worth like the most percent. Um, anyways, so we got that and that was due um, by the end of the semester, so June 21st. So we had a month to work on it. But normally when you get a culminating activity, you don't work on it in class very much. Um, our business teacher gave us every day to work on it in class, so just imagine now we have a month of just nothing, completely nothing. So it got very boring, like he was a good teacher at all, but it was just very, very boring. <clears throat> um, but it's not as bad as my English teacher that I had um, this year for English class. Last year, I passed English with an 85, which is one of the top marks in the class at the time. This year, I passed English with only a 70, which is pretty bad for myself, because normally I get around 80s, which is an A here in Canada, so I, I average about an 80. But it wasn't really my fault. I'm not trying to say I deserved higher, but my teacher was really bad. She was pregnant, which doesn't mean she's a bad person. But she was a bad person. <clears throat> she would... She was sexist. That's the best way I can put it. She liked girls. So I don't know if she was a lesbian or not. But she liked girls. And if you were a guy, you were pretty well screwed. But if you were me and my friends, you were just done. We, we all, who, who I'm friends with in that class we all last year got around 80s in English but this year we all passed with like just 70s a little over 70s which is pretty weird but we got these things called reading response journals that were worth a decent portion of your grade is you read a book and then you answer questions and you keep doing this you do two for each book so we do these I, I spend a good deal of time on these like probably two two to three hours on each one so the first one comes along, I do it, I get a 65. I'm like, okay, it's my first one, no problem. Second one comes along, I work harder, I get a 72. I'm like, okay, that's not that bad, I guess. Third one comes, I'm like, okay, gotta do good on this one. I get another six, I get like 68. So I'm like, that's really bad. Why did I get so bad? So then I'm like, you know what, screw it. I look at all the comments and it says that it's all run on and like random crap like that. Like, it was just bad. And I'm just like, I spent three hours on this. This is good. This is good quality, grade A shit. And then, so I'm like, you know what? Screw it. The fourth one comes along. I have the file saved for my third one. So I go. I open it. I change. I literally went in and changed reading response three to reading response four. Saved it. Emailed it to her. The, a week passes. I get it back. <coughs> and... I get an 82 on it. 82. So I'm like, seriously, bitch, you gotta be crazy. I get 82 on this, and it's the exact same thing. And she actually puts on it that it's similar to my third one. I'm like, no shit, it's the exact same thing, word for word. So, you know, just goes to show. Some people just really shouldn't be teachers. I have to say that I think a lot of teachers nowadays should not be teachers and should let the spaces be filled with new uh, qualified teachers who can probably actually teach well. So anyways, uh, I kind of went abrupt during that commentary, but see you guys. It's been Quest. I'm out. Peace.